Oh, so today's lecture will be um, very elementary, and I'm sorry for those who uh, know already um, very much uh, determinant point flows. So um, let us recall uh, the definition of determinant point progress. Um, so we are, we are going to uh, restrict ourselves with uh, um, good kernel, so uh, we don't care. We only consider uh, those continuous ones. Um, so um, we first recall the definition of um, the space of configuration space of uh, the complex plane. This is just a, a locally finite subsets, the collection of locally finite subsets of C. And uh, um, suppose now we fix a measure. Um, Mu is a measure, a measure which can be a big measure or Gaussian measure or um, some generalization. This is just fixed measure. <coughs> and uh, we consider a two variable function, continuous function, such that uh, um, it induces a kernel of an operator uh, such that uh, uh, this operator that sends a function f to a function that we denote by kf. We consider this as a matrix. Replace the sum by integral. So this operator is just uh, the usual uh, continuous version of the um, matrix action on a vector. So we suppose that uh, uh, this is uh, um, this operator is uh, um, positive operator. So in matrix case, this is a positive matrix. It's not. A the coefficient is positive, the matrix itself is a positive. This is a positive operator. By the way, uh, we call it, this means that KF, F is positive. This is uh, the L2 uh, scalar product and uh, contractive. Contractive means that Kf L2 is less than. Then, in this assumption, um, there, this K determines uh, uniquely. This is by uh, Maki Soshinikov for Takahashi, uh, Shika Takahashi theorem. The K determines a unique probability measure. on this space of configurations that, it, that satisfies the following um, two things. Um, so we have, we denote this by uh, problem measure P uh, by this on the space such that um, This measure has the following property. We take uh, the sum x. We will denote configuration so by x. This x is just a locally final subset of our c. So here phi is just a certain nice function like uh, continuous compact supported um, phi 
y1, yn, determinant k, yi, yj. This is uh, n times n matrix. And d mu y1, d mu yn. So actually, we will later use uh, another uh, equivalent um, characterization of this, or equivalently, um, this is some random sum. We can compute the expectation of the random sum. In fact, in some situation, it is more convenient to compute um, the expectations of some random product, which is in this case uh, called the Laplace transform of, uh, so here we have a, a subset and we have a, a function g and we, so uh, this is g, so g minus one is compact supported. So we just multiply all the uh, values on the configuration of this G. So this is a random product. We have determinant K minus one K. So here, of course, this is a Fred Hunt determinant. We will not go um, deep into this, but um, it's just a generalization, continuous generalization of a matrix determinant. So suppose we are in a finite, finite space, then this is indeed the usual determinant. Um, we will probably use this uh, for tomorrow. Um, of course, there are a lot of motivations for studying a determinantal problems point process, but uh, that is not uh, our uh, purpose. Um, now today, uh, I will only focus on the calculation of very simple um, finite uh, dimension case, and that will give us some idea um, why we should uh, um, consider uh, such and such uh, um, concepts and such and such quantities. So we are, we, now let us come focus on the following example, uh, which is called, um, which is the very first um, examples of determinant point process orthogonal polynomial ensemble. Um, so this is the following. So suppose we are giving a positive function, say continuous, such that uh, um, z to k to z d lambda z is finite for any uh, for any k. Then we consider the following probability. Consider um, now the following probability, Zn. So this is some normalization constant. And the density is, in fact, uh, proportional to uh, the square of some uh, van der Moen determinant. That is why uh, the determinant finally comes to the scenario is ij and m. Consider uh, a probability. Measure on cm given by the following c j d j. So of course this uh, is just uh, uh, this condition is to make this a uh, fin uh, finite uh, uh, measure so that we can normalize it uh, to be a determinant uh, a, a probability measure. 
And uh, um, it is a theorem or proposition we are not going to prove, um, which requires some, some effort, but it's only uh, elementary, um, uh, elementary facts from determinant, uh, elementary determinant. So the fact is, uh, um, these, if we denote this by P um, rho, P rho M, so we have two parameters, uh, the weight rho and M. So if we denote this P rho M, then we forget, uh, so this is uh, the set of n tuples, ordered tuples, and we forget the, uh, the order. So if we forget the order, this means we just, we, if we have a tuple, we forget the order, so this becomes a set, uh, because here, um, um, these points are um, almost surely uh, distinct. So this push forward, so rho m, and we will denote here by p rho, so let me denote by this. Uh, this probability is uh, is a um, determinant point process um, with kernel explicitly given by K and ZW um, PK Z PKW. So there's a famous name of it. This uh, PKR is case also also normal polynomial also normal polynomial of uh, the weight. Um, of the, this measure, let's see. Uh, that means uh, we, we have uh, uh, one Z to Z um, M, etc. And all these things are in the space L2, C, D, mu, uh, rho Z, D, Z. And we do uh, Grand Schmidt. Then we obtain uh, Grand Schmidt and uh, we obtain this uh, orthogonal. Uh, also normal polynomials. Yes? What is lambda? Lam okay, lambda is uh, the big measure. Uh, like, so n is given. Okay. Yes, we only consider fixed n. So we would just, so this is, uh, um, we admit this, uh, um, Proposition, and uh, um, if people are interested, are invited to uh, read uh, uh, the papers or books. So this is really the very um, beginning examples. Okay. Um, now we 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 should uh, how, uh, look at this kernel. What does this kernel mean? This kernel, in fact, means exactly um, the orthogonal projection, the kernel of the orthogonal projection from um, L2, C, rho, Z, D, Z to the subspace, um, subspace generated by um, the first uh, um, the first uh, one z this z m minus one. Uh, this is a subspace, linear subspace of this. Actually, it's easy to see that uh, k m uh, act on p k equals um, p k. 
um, and uh, Km for z um, n equals to zero if um, n is greater than m. Okay. So now we are going to uh, study uh, at the first. Uh, Glance, it's not uh, completely uh, abs uh, clear why we should care about uh, um, some, some concepts. But let me first define it and we compute something and so that we, uh, we will understand why we actually uh, are interested in these things. Okay, so I will study uh, the following things. Um, okay, uh, actually I will not define it abstractly. I will just look at this. So look at this measure. Um, the following things. The conditional measure Um, on, um, like for example here, Zm equals to a fixed point, um, a fixed point P. So this measure, uh, the conditional measure on this of P rho n, P n rho. So of course this is uh, uh, zero. Dose. The so this set this that means that z equals to u one equal to z m, but the last coordinate equal to p. This of course is a major zero set, but still we can. Um, consider uh, the conditional measure of such things, it's just uh, um, in, the, uh, in the formula, we take n to be uh, the fixed point, this fixed point p. So it is just, uh, but probably we will change the constant such that it, it becomes a probability. So let me write it as um, rho p. Um, I, Z, J. So for those I, J less than M minus 1, uh, okay, I actually wanted to be more general. I want this Z L plus 1 to be P1 that uh, M to be uh, one, half, one to Z1, Z, uh, this N, this PL, this should be um, M minus L plus one on this set of so, um, so I just fix those points after times um, those point um, z i minus p k here is for um, i from 1 to m minus l and for k from 1 to l. And we have a constant that depends on um, the interaction between this point p1, p L, but that will be inside um, inside of this constant uh, lambda z j. Uh, in fact, it's o z j d lambda z j j from one to m minus l. This is uh, we will denote this by um, this p or p is. P1, P2, 
TL and so So this is just taking taking those uh, we know the, those points which is fixed and then we uh, normalize to be a uh, probability measure on on this space minus L. So um, we will so of course if um, this is the same situation and here we can put them together uh, we can put them together to be just uh, uh, J and we change the this is J from N minus L um, some product of K from 1 to L ZJ minus P K to ZJ D um, ZJ So this of course is again an orthogonal polynomial ensemble for changing this N to N minus L and changing this weight rho to be this new weight. Um, in particular, we have this. Um, if I now take P to be another, Q have the same length, and Q here is Q1 to QL. Then this um, ratio, the random negative derivative, is given by um, M here, um, rho P that um, rho Q, and here will uh, disappear. Um, here is K from 1 to L. J from 1 to M minus L, ZJ minus PK over ZJ minus QK square and times the ZJ minus PK square for J from 1 to M minus L. Uh, okay, I and actually use inside this the formula should stay from one to n minus l, and here inside is k from one to l, j minus p k, z j minus q k square. Um, this is the ratio. Okay, so now we are going to study uh, a small dynamics and we see um, this ratio, this rather nicotine derivative plays an important role in computing the co-cycle. Up to now, there's no uh, uh, there's no difficulty. This is just uh, a lot of writing. Go. There's no computation at all, in fact. Um, so we consider the following. So we fixed uh, F that here is our C, um, a diffeomorphism. F is a diffeomorphism of C. Um, such that it moves only some points in a fixed uh, compact that changes only 
in a compact subset of C. So this uh, this F is identity outside of compact, and probably inside there will be some some change. Then this C, um, of course, gives us a Uh, for notation, I will you actually use this f minus one. It's just for uh, it's more convenient to do. So I will do diagonal map z1, zm maps to f minus one, z1, f minus one, zm. So here, originally we have uh, defined on CM a probability measure, we denote P is the one. Then this F minus one, the push forward of uh, this map, this probability is given by um, so F. That means a subset, so a subset of these, the measure for this is given by uh, the pre-image, the measure of the pre-image under this original um, measure. So it's very easy to see um, how, what is this measure. So this measure is just the following. Uh, okay, I have not enough time, um, but uh, since we have a density, and this is a diffeomorphism, this is really a classical factor of computing the push forward measure. We can compute explicitly the density. The density is given by the following. So P and rho F correspond to is given by the following um, one of some yes this is again so, um, M a row um, one I minus J M F C I so yes Probably let me change the variable without making confusing here and times um, i from one to m rho f y j and times i from n m the Jacobian. Uh, Determinant of Jacobian here, and d lambda y1, d lambda ym. So the important thing is uh, the cocycle. The cocycle exactly means uh, uh, the radonical dim derivative and rho of this. So uh, at the point, uh, so we can change this to z, at the point um, z1 to zm is given by, um, is given by uh, product on j minus n um, as Y, I, F, I, J. Y, I, uh, actually this is Z. I only use Z, I, Z square times 
um, rho f y z i rho z i and times i from 1 to m j f z i so they are still not this hasn't yet appear but uh, now we we haven't used that these uh, f minus only changes uh, a fine so points inside a compact set so suppose now um, this this support that has denoted by v suppose this v intersection of z because uh, this uh, probability is uh, um, invariant uh, uh, does not change after uh, changing uh, the coordinates. So uh, let us suppose without a uh, loss of generality that this is equals to um, some subset. So inside we have uh, so this I Z1 to ZL is inside, and ZL plus 1 to ZN is outside. Then, of course, for those um, ZI, for I greater than L, these two things are the same, and these two things are the same, and the Jacobian is also 1. So we should, uh, um, we can uh, simplify this to the following. Um, this is uh, also a very simple computation, but which will give us ideas. Um, why? So, I, J, square. This is for L. L, Z, I, Z, J, and times, times those, uh, so for I, J, both greater than L, they disappear. But for I is in L, but for J uh, greater than L, there's some, still some terms. Here is um, for J from L plus 1, um, M and for I from L 1 to L, we have some terms given by F C I minus Z J I minus Z J square and uh, times that matters is only for uh, 1 to L and for L plus 1 and uh, this Jacobian equals to 1, JF, um, ZI. Okay, so now let us compare, compare uh, these two things, and uh, let us write a, a, a proposition which, so we only compute this for uh, this finite orthogonal polynomial ensemble, but uh, um, behind um, this simple computation, it's actually uh, a general, there's a general result for this, but uh, let us just uh, give a simple version of uh, it. So we have the following P, P, M, rho, F, P, P, M, rho. So this at the point Z1. M is given by the following. Um, so this will remains. This will remains. Uh, I will compare this uh, to that. Okay. So um, that is how to write this. Is um, J from one to 
L plus, uh, this is J from, um, actually, this is not, uh, uh, probably, this is L plus 1, I2 went to L, and J2, L minus 1, and actually, this is uh, almost the same thing as Zm, so for Q is um, that, um, if I don't make a mistake, add this is here or there. Um, this is for um, Z um, L plus 1 to, uh, no, this is for 1 to Z. I think this should be F Z1 to F Z L. And this is rho 1 to Z L. And times, and that will be determinant of the um, uh, derivative of this. P will be um, F um, Z1 F Z L rho and Z1 Z L this is the, the point that will be changed. This at the point um, ZL plus 1 to ZM. Uh, and times um, tensor rest. This, let us write, for simplify, this as, we write this as a, a fundamental determinant of Z1 to Z. And actually, this is uh, okay. It's here. It's here. We write it the one to Z L square, and here we do the same thing. We get uh, D F Z one F Z L square D Z one. ZL square and times and JF um, ZI from I to L. Um, actually, um, and I will have still I uh, still have five minutes. I have ten. Okay, that's great. Um, I haven't used that uh, this is a determinant point process. Uh, here's a formula uh, we actually we can compute this. Uh, we are able to compute this. Um, okay, let me just first write it down. Uh, uh, probably I will make mistakes. I'm sorry for that. This is, uh, in fact, Given by if I don't make a mistake, um, actually here is uh, okay. This is actually given by something like we remember that we have uh, the kernel that is the sum of uh, orthogonal polynomials, uh, orthogonal orthonormal polynomials. Um, we have Km um, F Z I. Z F Z J. This is for L plus I. So for I J from one to L divided by determinant um, uh, K M Z I Z J L plus M. 
And actually, in, in fact, it's these times, these gives us uh, this. So, so Z1 to ZL. Times uh, JF the I from I to L. Okay, before indeed proving this last step, we haven't yet proved this because we need to compute this uh, uh, normalization constant, uh, which needs some um, um, result from uh, correlation functions. Um, but let us look at uh, this formula. So this final formula is um, the cosine call is given by such thing. But the important thing is here, um, L, so this matrix is fixed, L times M. And we can let M goes to infinity for studying. So this M actually is uh, uh, Finally, it becomes the number of particles of our determinant point process. So when, when n goes to infinity, this means we, we are studying the infinite point process. But here, we just have final set. If we have kn goes to k, then we just, uh, this limit will be just a uh, um, coefficient limit, and we erase n is this n directly, and here it will tend to our uh, infinite uh, point process, and here becomes actually our, so we will actually have the following thing. And probably write it, it's easier for then to speak. X, this is uh, the point in our point process. So we, we, we have, um, actually this is, uh, um, we have this determinant of K, um, F, um, Z, I, F, Z, J, L times L, determinant of K, Z, I, Z, J, L times L, and here is T, P, K, um, F, Z, 1, F, Z, L. So this is only finite point, so we can actually compute it. Um, Z, 1 to Z, L, and here is the point, the, con the configuration, but we, er we forget those uh, um, Z, 1, Z, L. So we only need to do this in a uh, discrete case. In continued case, we can forget this. Thing. And I from 1 to L, J, F, Z, I, 1. So this formula holds when um, X intersection the support of uh, the support of the diffeomorphism. I mean, uh, the compact set that inside uh, have changes is Z1, ZL. Uh, but of course, this is finite set because we are starting configuration. So, uh, configuration, so um, configuration is a locally finite set. So the intersection with any compact set is just, a, uh, a f just a finite. Um, Why do I still have five minutes? Okay. Mm. Okay, I will try to leave this as an exercise and give a hint. Mm. Okay, actually, I will give a formula which is not easy, but uh, I prefer uh, you to compute it using this formula. 
um, we have the following. And tomorrow, um, tomorrow, since we get this formula, uh, we will only focus on such, such uh, uh, the computation of uh, such thing. Um, well, probably I forgot. Oh no, okay, I, I didn't forgot anything. The proposition is the following. So we have uh, remember that we have this uh, um, sum of p k. Z, P, K, W. This is uh, uh, Christoph Dachbo kernel. Um, <laughs> then, actually, we have the following identity IJ as L. So, this, uh, we people know this is the L correlation function, is um, we have such. Formula um, integration of uh, C and minus L of um, C. So this is determined from rho um, one less than J less than M Z I minus Z J square rho Z I D lambda. One. So we only uh, integrate integrate out those uh, 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 from L plus one to M. So we integrate L plus one times rho Z M lambda Z L plus one. Um, L, the N. Um, and uh, um, so this factor exercise exercise is the following. Um, DM uh, so remember uh, recall what is what is DM? This is the normalization constant uh, uh, for the following. I will wait. So this do um, P1 to PL, Q1 to QL. This equals to um, determinant that uh, Q1, Q square. Well, times um, determinant of um, P1, K, P1, I, P, J from J, L, determinant K, Q, I, Q, J, I, J, L, and the recall that in recalling that this constant is given by um, the following thing, um, recall that so this Zn is given by actually uh -huh. so um, we have the, this thing. One equals to um, equals to what? Uh, in fact, I this is not the right notation. In my this is, should be C M minus uh, we are integrating out what this uh, M minus L um, one over Z M rho of um, P1 P, uh, L. This is a, this, oh, we only need that we define some probability. This conditional measure is a probability. So we only use such a, a restriction M minus 
L, even don't make a mistake here. Uh, form uh, those k from this j from 1 to a minus L and uh, um, this should be um, k from 1 to L zk minus q this is p j square so Z, K, D, lambda is OK. Uh, so in fact, this, this looks very similar to this. So we put it here. We actually we are able to compute, uh, compute this constant. Represent this constant in using uh, Determinant and also some re uh, some part uh, coming from um, the fundamental determinant concerning Q1 to QI. Okay, I will stop here.